So, hello everyone. My name is Ketoan from Hamipad. Uh, my student ID is 5931034. So, I'm gonna do the presentation about the principle of e commerce. So, let's start with what did I learn from this subject? Actually, I learned that it's not easy to do e to do the, to do the e commerce because the e commerce uh, consists of so many factors not only the website, not only the how you like selling the products online, but it actually talking about how we start to do it, how it goes, and what is the factor to achieve the successfulness. So it's also, I have to say that uh, we, they, there are lots of detail deep inside in this subject that I have learned, and there are different ways to do the e-commerce, not only just do through the website, there are so many things that we can do. So let's see what it what it relates to the textbook. So actually at first I thought that e com e business and e commerce I'm not sure whether it is the same or not, but after I learned I know that it's different totally different. So for the e commerce the the transaction that happened between the customer and the like the the seller, the retailer, right? So it is also changed. The trend of it also changed all times. It doesn't say that e-commerce might be only in one industry. It can be in any industry that have transaction of buying. So let's let's say let's see that what is inside in our textbook that I learned. The first the one thing that I know that is about the website that I have made. It's just like we have to know whether what uh what is the domain, the URL, the server, what what makes the website happen, and in the deep into it, there will be the like crowd system or it can be similar into like public, private, or the hybrid one. And at first, I never like never noticed about the securities, how it works, or what what is it in here. When we do the like the payment pay, payment transaction, SSL is one thing that's required. So basically, in doing the website to have the trust from the customer, we need these thing like SSL to secure the the information of the like the customer not to be leaked. And we also that we can like promote or like make our website well known by using the like SEO search engine optimization just putting the keyword inside the website to make it appears in Google or something like that and also there are some technique or the we can promote throughout the Google advertising you can see when it go up and show it in the first first pages as a suggestion it's like that and also, I have to, uh, I can seek the knowledge within the textbook because there are so many explanations and the, the way that we can make the website and which website can be like we can find from because there are platform for us to like make the website such as going to the Wix website. Actually, in in my project, I use the Wix one because I think the Wix one is like easy to use. Actually, we just sign go in. Yeah, this one is what, what I see in the textbook. They also suggest this kind of this kind of pat, pat platform that we can use to like to generate the website, and also the way that we create the content. As you know that we cannot just put everything inside. We have to like find find the the place to do the the content, the match one, the what what do you call that? Uh, the op appropriate one. Because to 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 have the appropriate content, meaning that you can match with your target audience that you think. And and also in uh learning this that is related to the textbook I also learned about SWOT. The SWOT one is to analyze both internal factors and external factors. 
for the internal factors, it consists of strength and weakness. As the strength is to, to see what is just the like the competitive point that we have in our company to compete with others' company. It's just like it the outstanding point of your company that can make your business be successful. And the weakness is when you compare mean like compared to the peers or or is the one that you can control. You know that it is not good, you can adjust it, but somehow that weakness doesn't mean that you will have to fix all the time but for the external factors this one we can like we cannot control but we have to wait to to like avoid it or something like that so in the textbook like it teach us that if we face this face this we can figure out what is the way that we can like what do you call uh, manage it and fa seek for the opportunity. It's also when talking deep into the cost, like the cost, we have to estimate how much what how much it will cost. Like planning, uh, it's just like have to like decide whether we will do it by our own. Meaning that we do like making the website, hosting by ourselves. Or we just take away which is the outsource. This one is the one thing that the the the, the textbook mentioned about the, the the course. Because of the when you see that somehow we don't have that much but like ability uh, the start that have high ability on hosting the the website we need to hire the specialist like to the one that who can make it and it may take times. Also, if we do the outsource, we don't have to hire, we just pay a payment, which they include the uh, different, uh, the, the website design and also the, what do you call, the hosting. If we also both, meaning that maybe we have to pay one time for like for the website design, but monthly for the hosting. And this one will be included in the cost that we have to calculate. Doing the website, we may like need some 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 costs like for the software, for for the like hosting, the desire. We have to manipulate the cost carefully, and have to see whether the 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 budget will be a lot or not, in order to run the business. Also, and we have, and also from the textbook, they also mention about the like the unsecure thing that could happen to the customer online or even the company. It's just like they, there are some wireless or adware where it can like uh, at attack your computer and also the the, the thing that the, the, the what do you call that the thief do it's just like the phishing they are seeking for the confidential information from the customer uh, and also those the hack those who the hacker can do the data breaching like that is mentioned in the textbook and we it's just the point that we have to be aware and we have to find the way to secure the customer information because uh, in order to customer to use our website they have to ensure that there are things because they have to put their names their payment method the cards number and the the the, co the the password at the back and they have to make sure that our website will have to be secure and the textbooks also mention how to deal with it so the secure that I mentioned is it's just related to the payment that I for me I never know that there are so many type of payment actually Everyone knows, but I didn't know deeply how to do it. Yeah, um, in the payment of the website, this could like what do you call uh, include the online payment, like the cards payment, the credit cards, the debit cards, and also the way to uh, the way the customer trust us is just like the SSL, the license that it will show on our page, HTTPS something. 
yeah, it, to make sure that the website is secure enough to make the payment. However, there are so many like mobile payment method because actually nowadays people use like their phone to be like the wallet. It's just like the K Bank application K Plus K M A for whom see it can be linked to the website and it automatically going to the apps. The mention uh this one the book mentioned how we can do it achieve it and how it work. And also the 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 about the blockchain the what you call uh blockchain and cryptocurrency is also digital currency like that. And to relate the the like the the textbook knowledge to to our what I learned, I also learned about the business model, the 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 like the value I pro, pro, proposition, and also like the revenue models, the competitive environment, the delivery, the channel, the marketing strategy. Uh, this kind of thing makes you understand more about the uh the the company that you have to do in your project when you list out break down you know what strategy should you use how the website will be designed what are the products within the website that you will have to like to list down what is the scope of the work the vision vision and the point that the the, the company do the activities the key activities the key resource where they get the supplier for from where what is like how they how they generate the revenue in order to understand the structure of the company. It's just like that when you going to like selling things, mean that it's one time one time payment, a transaction like that. So if you understand those kind of thing when you set up the website, you have to know like, uh, in order to sell one thing, you have fixed price or dy dynamic pricing. It depends on what you are, what company you are. And also the the way that you run the business, you have, as I mentioned, you have to understand like the the, the company, right? So you have to know whether the company is B two B, B two C, or C two C, in order to, to like set up the price and the promotion. As in the website, you can see for the marketing opportunity. So you 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 think that if you are B two B, how can you sell in a box? Or C to C is a customer maybe like Amazon or something that the the customer can put that product down in the website. So in my project, I have I also have to decide. But sometimes we I need to understand from the textbook, which I learn a lot. For me, I do like the wood wood seller like that. So this this uh, is the like the business model that we have to understand, and the book have explain clearly uh, for us to to do actually like we are know we know that they are b2b but in the b2b there are something deeper inside that i have learned because it's just like in b2b they have like e-distributor or like e-procurement like that to, we have to know the actual structure of the company because we cannot just say that they are B2B. Every business B2B no it's it have the subset inside. Which which the explanation is quite complicated. And one thing that I noticed from from the model of the business that I have learned by using the business model, I also know that in if they shift to online like e commerce selling through the website, the pages they will, gain, they will have one opportunity, which is the price reduction. Because basically, if they do the physical physical store, they will have to pay for the com commission of the sellers. But uh, by doing it online, they don't have to pay that kind of money. But they can use that kind of money to like to boost the sales the, in, in, in the website, which is one way of the marketing suggested by the book. And also, I seek for the opportunity that online thing can serve the like the customer like twenty four seven twenty four like seven days twenty four hours like that. Uh, and also, uh, we can know that 
I mean, like, notice that in every, like, the platform that they offer the website designing, they charge it differently. And there are so many kind of, like, the, 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 the website that offer this kind of product, such as the, like, uh, Wix or Square, Squarespace, like that. So, they can kindly find the cheapest one and the one that match their needs and also the type of the packages they have to pay for the their website and also the price pricing strategy and marketing strategy maybe they can they they can do more than like in the actual store like do the long tail marketing where they can like sell sell a uh, several kind of products inside which can be like adapt to the project that I have done. So next moving on to uh the most interesting part like what you call mostly uh part that in in my, my doing the project. I think for me I like the website designing because the website one is it just put everything that you have to knowledge like the design the 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 text how you put the text how you do the headline heading subheading and how you promote how you put the price of the product and the photos that is inside because sometimes you have you you can put the product in a like home page which one is look at attractive to 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 the customer this one is one thing that is inter interesting in doing the project and also doing the website you have you have your like creativity you are freely to do whatever you like but the the the, the, the whatever you like that i mean it's just like you have to be in a scope not like if you do like fun things but you are your business is like advisor it doesn't like match what what's your mission vision but you have to do whatever related to your business and this kind of thing is why I uh, like put a base on strong base for the the community because actually everyone want to see the website of of the company you like you buying things from because it make trust if the website is not good enough it you you will lose trust because if you selling thing like my uh, the the community that I do, they are selling wood for like one piece hundred thousand, which is cost a lot. If you do the 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 website like the white things and just put the picture, you will lose everything. You will lose trust from the customer and they won't buy the 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 thing from you. So I think website is, is the most interesting part in my project because I don't have to like follow everything from the textbook. I have I can like designed by my own. So that's it for my presentation about principle of commerce. Thank you for listening to my videos. Thank you.